Scribble, Steve can remotely instruct by being light and entertaining. Hey there, I'm Steve Breen, the editorial cartoonist at the San Diego Union Tribune, and this is Scribble, our little art instruction video series that I do from my home studio. So today, we are going to be working on a very special project. Uh, actually, I don't have an idea for a topic today. I should have thought of something earlier. What could we draw? I, <laughs> I'm sorry, I actually don't have anything. Boy, I wish, I wish I had a topic. Who are you? The Unifairy. What's a Unifairy? It's a unicorn fairy. It's better if you don't ask too many questions. I am your muse, here to inspire you. I need something to draw for this episode. I have a perfect subject, my pet unicorn, Daryl. Hmm, a unicorn. That's actually a good idea. All right, so we're gonna try drawing Daryl the unicorn. Thank you, unicorn fairy, for this great idea. The first step when you draw anything whether it's a person, an animal, a tree, is you want to just kind of rough out the form. Imagine a wire skeleton, and that will kind of help inform where the different parts of your subject go. Notice these back legs kind of come back to a, a point, right? It's like that on a lot of uh, animals, hind legs. You'll notice dogs, horses, goats, they all have legs that kind of come back like that. A joint right here. Okay, so here's the tail, and then there's the horn on the unicorn, and ears come up like that. So there's a rough uh, outline of, of the structure, the wire skeleton. Okay, so now we'll start adding the, uh, the, uh, the flesh, and muscle. So I would suggest just doing some some forms like this, some rough ovals, okay? There's the head, then a little bit of the neck, the body's like this, okay? The hind quarters like this. Okay, then the legs. This is a very simple cartoony unicorn. I'm sure that the unicorn fairy has a, a photo of the, uh, of the animal somewhere. But this is just a quick, easy cartoon drawing. Okay, so after you've kind of roughed out the body like that, you can go and you can start adding some of the detail, like the ears. And then the horn. Kind of looks like a ice cream cone. And the tail. The mane. I like to add some curls to the hair as opposed to just making the hair straight. You could make the hair straight if you wanted to, but I think that this looks better. Okay, so after you've roughed out the body, you could come in here and focus on the face. I would draw one eye here. The other eye is on the other side of his head, so you would just draw maybe a little portion of the eye, like that, okay? A little curve here for the nostril, the dot in the center, and then another little bump right here because the nostril's sticking up on the side. A smile. Some cheek. Oh, we can't forget the pupil. Remember, the bigger you make an eye on any creature, the cuter it becomes. 
then we just show a little bit again over on this side. You can put some eyelashes in like this. Eyelashes always help make something look cute. And then now that we have our pencil form, we can go in and we can add ink to the drawing. I usually start with the face. It doesn't matter where. When I draw my interior lines, things that are kind of inside the form, I go a little lighter on my lines. You can see how these lines right here, the mouth and the cheek, are thinner than my outer lines, which kind of hold the drawing together. The pen I'm working with is a Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen. And um, I like it because it's a pen, but it's also a brush. And it's really, really pressure sensitive. So if you press hard, you get a nice thick line. But if you go light on it, you could get a nice thin line. Okay, so I would give little hoof lines right here with a medium amount of pressure. Belly. Back leg over here. There's a little bit of his hind leg. That line kind of comes up into his body a little bit. And then down. You don't have to trace your pencil lines exactly. They're just guidelines. Now, here's his butt. And we'll do his tail. Then we could put some detail in there with our thin strokes. Get these hoofs. Continuing to the face, we'll do this eye over here. Sometimes I like to leave a little shine inside the pupil by just leaving a little circle white. See that? Adds a little more life to the eye. The eyelashes curl up like this, away from the eye. And you could do a few smaller ones on the bottom part of the eye. All right, here's an ear. And let's do another ear back over there so we don't forget it. And then the horn. Instead of a straight horn, we draw these bumps like this, see? And these thin lines inside going up like this. Okay, and then the main hair can be kind of curly to fill in these spaces. Almost like the unicorn just went and got a perm. Nice, easy strokes. And we can add a couple detail lines if we want. Okay, uh, here's the interior of the ear with a fine line or two. My favorite eraser is a uh, Mars Plastic. They're available at most art supply stores. And we take care of the final step, which is erasing our pencil lines. I am so thankful that the unicorn fairy stopped by to give us this idea. Look at it. I think it came out pretty, pretty good.
Daryl pink and white, but you can color your unicorn any way you want. Thanks for watching. See you next time on Scribble. Thank you.